Hi everyone, welcome to Order Time. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ardor Time, sponsored by Jellarita and the Ardor and NXT Group. The series that will keep you up to date with everything happening in the Ardor and NXT ecosystems. In our first episode, I told you about the origins of NXT and introduced Ardor. Last episode, I told you about the unique parent-child chain architecture of Ardor and explained how it solves the blockchain bloat problem and allows for greater scalability than ever before. The Ardor launch is coming and with it the NXT snapshot on December 28th and the Ignis airdrop on January 1st. If you have NXT or you are planning to acquire some, remember some important facts. The best place to store your NXT for the upcoming NXT snapshot is in the official NXT local wallet. If your NXT are stored in a third-party exchange, you need to make sure that the exchange that you are using will support the NXT snapshot and the Ignis airdrop. The following third-party cryptocurrency exchanges have announced support for the Ignis airdrop. We also have an important announcement to make today. The launch of the Ardor and NXT group created and structured by Traven Keith, an invaluable member of the community and also a member of the Hyperledger project, identified the need to make an organizational change for the good of the community. Traven explains what is going to happen with the NXT Foundation and what is going to be the role of Jellarita with regards to the ANG in the Cryptocurrency Market interview by Tai Zen on October 31st. Jellarita is going to handle all of the development work and they're going to, um, as they have done before, uh, and they're going to largely be the ones taking charge of the entire operation for both NXT and Ardor. Uh, when I mention Ardor, I also include Ignis under there because they're part of the same network. Um, for the foundation, that's been a, uh, a question that has largely been left unanswered for the past year uh, until recently. Um, I was working on this thing called uh, the Ardor and NXT group, um, ANG. So it's really more of like a group of people uh, or projects that are using the technology uh, that want to come together and um, help each other out, find collaborative effort, uh, collaborative projects, uh, but at the same time to help new people coming on if they want to be more involved, uh, to give them a, a way to be involved. Traven announced that Elizabeth Mong, commonly known in the community by her Crypto Woman or QBTC handle, is to be the new full-time director of ANG on January 15th, 2018. As such, her role will be to support and encourage the growth of the business development and investor communities of the Ardor and NXT blockchain platforms, lead and manage the group and its resources, and engage the community. Leo Yaffe, co-founder and managing director of Jellarita and one of the core developers of NXT and Ardor, explains the unique architecture of Ardor and how it is built to enable businesses to develop and deploy their blockchain applications in an easy and efficient way. Around a year and a half ago, we decided to start a new project, called, which we called Ardor, which is aimed to solve some of the most fundamental problems in the blockchain arena right now. Tact is by implementing a parent-child chain architecture, where the parent chain is dealing with the proof-of-stake process uh, based on the same model used in NXT, while the child chains are used for the smart contracts. Okay, for the asset exchange, for voting, for marketplace, and so on. 2018 will be the year where we see many businesses adopt the blockchain. Every day we are discovering new and innovative use cases of the blockchain. This is the case of Atrust, the company responsible for verifying digital identities for Austrian citizens. The digital citizenship verification process enables access to almost all the services offered by the Austrian government simply by using a laptop or smartphone. 
A-Trust teamed up with Jellarita and the ANG Ardor NXT Group to initiate an enterprise application which will enable Austrian municipalities to publish their announcements on a digital bulletin board created for this purpose. Michael Butz, CEO of A-Trust, said that we have monitored the blockchain space very carefully for the last two years. As a qualified trust service provider, acting for European citizens and the Austrian government, we have to make our decisions with the highest amount of care. With Gelarita and the ANG, we found trustworthy partners and an excellent developer's community structure. Besides that, the environmental aspect of proof-of-stake algorithm running without any interruption is the third key factor which made us choose NXT. Over the last few months, Ardor community member Segvault Steve wrote compelling and highly informative articles that are available in a free ebook that explained and contrasted new tokens like Lisk, Stratus, Waves with Ardor. The theme of this series is scaling securely. Ardor, in his opinion, stacks up favorably against all the competition and scales incredibly well. Platforms like Ethereum have not demonstrated that they can scale. That's all for today's Ardor Time episode. Please subscribe and click the bell icon below in order to stay informed about the growing world of Ardor.